Are you ready to get more referrals right now? I've got the answer to that dilemma for you on this episode of The Inside BS Show. Hi, it's Dave Lorenzo, and here's today's Inside BS sales tip. Everybody wants more referrals. Today, I'm going to show you the four-step process to getting more referrals right now. Here's how you can get more referrals right now. The first thing you need to do is you need to adjust your mindset. Give value to people first. Give value to the person that you're going to ask for the referral from first. So if I want a referral from Bill Smith, I'm gonna go to Bill Smith and I'm gonna introduce him to three different people who can do business with him before I ask him for a referral. I'm also going to find out what he's interested in personally, and if I can make a connection to help him improve his personal life, I'm gonna do that too. I've delivered huge value to him first, so that when I go to ask him for a referral, I feel better about it. You see, the referral mindset is not about putting somebody else in the right frame of mind, although that's part of it. The biggest part of the referral mindset is your mindset when you go to the person to ask for the referral. If you're going to someone to ask them for a referral, you should be in the mindset that, look, I've already done this person a lot of favors. They owe me, so I'm gonna ask them to repay the debt that they owe me by connecting me with someone. So connect the ideal referral partner with somebody else at least three times Try to help them improve their life, their personal life, and then go ask for a referral. The second thing that will help you get more referrals right now is giving the reason why you want to meet the other person. You need to clearly articulate why you want the person who they're connecting you with to work with you. So you're going to Bill Smith and you're telling Bill Smith you want to meet Janet Blue. And the reason you want to meet Janet Blue is because you have a new process that will revolutionize the way Janet Blue's company does business. Well, Bill Smith now has a reason to go to Janet and he can say, hey, Janet, my friend Dave, he's got a great process that's going to revolutionize the way you do business. Here are the three things he told me. I think it would be a great introduction for you. So giving the person who's going to refer you, giving your evangelist the reason why you want to meet the other person is essential because it it opens the door for them to have that conversation. The third thing you can do to get more referrals right now is be specific. You've got to do your research first. Go through the person that you're speaking with, your evangelist's LinkedIn profile, and make sure you know who they know and then ask for someone specific that they know. And when you ask, you gotta give them the person's name. You gotta give them the position they hold. Give them the name of the company. Remind them of the industry. And then again, that all important reason why. Those are the five things that should be included in any referral request. So, hey Bill, I'd like to meet Janet Blue. She's the CEO of XYZ Company. They work in the pharmaceutical industry. And I'd like to meet Janet because I have a new process that's going, to, that's going to absolutely revolutionize the way they manufacture their pharmaceuticals. You see, we can cut production time by a third. That is how you ask for a referral. Now, before I've asked, I know that Bill Smith knows Janet Blue because I went on their LinkedIn profiles and I looked and saw they were connected and they've even commented on things that one another have posted. So they've connected to each other, they know each other, and they're familiar with each other. And then I gave Bill the reason why I want to meet Janet. Now, let's say Janet isn't a good fit for what I'm looking to do. I gave Janet's title, CEO, her industry, pharmaceuticals. Bill may know another CEO in the pharmaceutical industry, or he may know another CEO in another industry who could use my services. That's why adding all that information is essential. The fourth and final tip for today is recognize the people who refer you. If someone connects you with another party for the purposes of passing a referral, always write them a handwritten note and say thank you. It's a simple recognition step. It's very easy to do 
and it shows them that you, you're grateful. It's showing gratitude. It shows them that you're grateful for the connection. You're grateful for the referral. Why do you want to do this? Well, number one, it's the right thing to do. Number two, it's good manners. Number three, it reinforces the behavior you want more of from your evangelist, from your referral source. So those are the four tips to get more referrals right now. Be sure and do these immediately because it'll boost your bottom line. It'll boost your sales. It'll boost the money you put in your pocket. This is the Inside BS Show. Be sure and subscribe. Not only do we do these great sales tips every day, but we also do a fantastic interview every day. And if you subscribe on YouTube and you ring the notification bell, you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video sales tip or whenever we upload a brand new interview. If you want to listen to these tips and to the interviews on the go, subscribe to the Inside BS Podcast. We take a select number of these tips each week and share them. We also share all the interviews we do every single week on the podcast. My name is Dave Lorenzo, and we're taking you inside business strategy, sharing the insider business secrets with you and cutting through all the inside BS that holds you back. Until tomorrow, here's hoping you make a great living and live a great life.